I got broads in Atlanta, just to throw in the family. Credit cards in the scammers, hitting the licks in the van. Legacies, family. Wayne C, look like a family. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC lightweight division battle. There is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. The American is 31. The Brazilian is 45. He is three inches taller. The reach is identical. We go inside the octagon. Here's the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. It's a first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Pantera! And now introducing his opponent. Fighting! This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch gloves and we are underway. start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting, and it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand over. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Left punch followed by a right. Nice one-two there by Lee. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Just unable to quite find that range. Nice 
straight punch there by Lee. Just misses with the straight right. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, nice. Nice. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like this. Johnny does. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like this. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. <laughs> Just over three minutes to go. Under three minutes now to go in round one. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Etsy Barbosa. How he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Nice straight punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Trump. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Just misses with the jab there. Able to check the high kick. Can't take many of those, you better check. Lands flush with that right hand. Big leg kick lands. Whiffs on the straight right hand. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on the feet right now. Big body kick. Oh, wow, those leg kicks are already taking effect. He is all about that left kick to the body. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Leg kick checked nicely by Lee. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Nice. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Final seconds of round one. Right on the button. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next next round. High Whoa. number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Ooh, what a punch. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. 
Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice, sneaky head kick. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Just over three minutes to go. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. That one snuck in. Nice strike. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. He loaded up there with that high kick. Ooh, what a punch. Back and forth we go. Real nice body kick lands. Oh, just misses with the kick. Goes back to that left kick once again. And he comes through with a big knee. Strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Telegraph that spinning back fist. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Nice punch, man. Just missed with the leg kick. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Real sneaky body kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Oh, All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel. 
He's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. But this man has taken it to the octagon, looking to break all the punch records before the night is over. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. I need you to kick now. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Nice body combination there. Out of range with that one. Just over three minutes to go. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Time to establish that jab once again. We'll see if he can finish. You got him. Both guys landing with conviction now. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rattle. Powerful leg kick lands. Nice connection with a punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Liver kick. Ooh, blocks the shot. Oh, nice. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown the ball. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Big kick. Right under the elbow, body kick man. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. And that left hook landed on the button. He's throwing these punches in combination. Really dictate the pace to his opponent. Nice shot to the body there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Another shot lands upstairs. 
Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Yeah. Gotta be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Punch coming, it's blocked. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Right hand upstairs. Oh, All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fight. Time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Wow. Lee gets caught with that punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing <laughs> Tom Brady. Stop it. John, <laughs> stop it. Big body kick man. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Oh! Massive kick to the head. Oh! Combinations here. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. I mean, look at the commitment to kick it in this fight. Just over three minutes now to go. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. Nice leg kick land. Lee's kick attempt, that one was blocked. Oh! Huge kick to the head. the head. Under two minutes to go. Effective use of the jab there by Liz. What a body kick. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Straight right hand, no good. Nice kick. Oh, big head kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, nice right hand. 
beautiful body kick. All right, single collar tie now. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Big leg kick land. Now connects with the right. Just misses there with the left. Twenty seconds left. Great punch landed with so much power. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Horn sounds for the end of round four. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so that's the end of the round. You know the fighter wants to be given the benefit of the doubt, but he is dealing with a nasty cut on the lip that has only gotten progressively worse as the night has gone on, and the doctor's got to protect the fighter. You know he wants to fight on. The fans don't like doctor stoppages, but if they can't nip this cut in the bud, they're going to have no choice but to stop the fight. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. It is the fifth and final round. Real quick leg kick. Big kick land. Nice body kick. Nice strike. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Nice head kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Nice body to run into the over. How about that shin? I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. Not want that. No one wants that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you got the Anderson Silva situation. Good punch lands. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. He's doing a lot of work with his offhand. Just missed with the left there. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. That's a big strike right there. Under three minutes remain in round five. Oh, look at that jab. Snap his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Try to establish that jab. Leg kick. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Under two minutes to decide this one now. Big punch from the clinch. 
All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah, no more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Nice head kick. to the feet now. One minute to go in the fight. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Gets up again here, but hurting. Nice punch here. They continue to exchange. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Unbelievable. What a performance. Well, you've got to admire the approach there. Just eternally aggressive down the stretch, late in the fight, lands the huge shot cleanly, and clearly hurt his opponent very badly. He wanted to make sure the judges stayed out of this fight. Mission accomplished. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 56 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by now. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.